Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexandria and I am a freelance writer with a background in nursing. And today I'm going to be talking about how to find clients, specifically how to find them on LinkedIn. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to this channel. Okay. So finding clients as a brand new freelance writer can feel a little bit intimidating because you say to yourself, okay, well, where do I go to find people to pay me to write? And one of those places is LinkedIn, and that's where I'm going to focus my content today. LinkedIn is a professional network that is really targeted towards the professional who wants to kind of promote themselves as such. So, you know, when MySpace and Facebook came out, right, everybody was on that really just kind of just there to socially, you know, get together on the internet. And that's great. But LinkedIn has always stood out, you know, over the last, I don't know, 10 years plus as the space for professionals to connect. And, you know, everything on there doesn't have to be you know, my job, my job, my job, my accomplishments, my accolades, but a lot of the time it is. And slowly there is a space that's being curated for people to be a little bit more vulnerable and have posts that, you know, are professional in nature, but really kind of talk about, you know, how we got to some of the spaces or how we climbed as high that as we have in some of the areas that we might be well versed in today and at first when i got linkedin i was not the biggest fan of it because of how rigid it felt like oh i can only talk about my professional background but the reality of it is it's been an amazing place for me to network as a freelance writer and as a nurse scientist. So if you've watched any of my videos, you've probably heard me talk about me having freelance writing as really kind of a afternoon or nighttime job. And it's really not a job because I enjoy doing it. But during the day, I am uh, invested in another job. I am a nurse scientist. I do research during the day. So, you know, LinkedIn has been a great place for me to kind of realize that it's okay to have more than one profession and it's okay to be well versed in more than one profession. And, you know, my network is full of people who are in the research space who are also now starting to think about freelance writing, maybe because they see my profile and maybe because they see other people who are also doing it. But it's also, um, my connections are also people who are nurses with subject matter expertise in all of these amazing areas of medicine and science. And it's a beautiful place to collab and get ideas for new content to write about and get paid for. So let's get into really how to find clients on LinkedIn. There's a lot of things, there are a lot of things that you can do to really kind of promote yourself as a writer. And most of that begins with promoting yourself on your page. Um, I've taken, I've paid for a lot of mentors, you guys, and people have always said really how important it is to be authentic. And I understood it, but I really didn't know how to do that. And really, it it really is just putting yourself out there and putting your best foot forward. When you have, you know, good intentions to promote yourself, people will come, your audience will come. So specific to LinkedIn, I think there are certain ways that you can promote yourself to um, lead to networking opportunities and lead to potential client relationships. So one of the things that I recommend for people is to consider um, the LinkedIn premium version. It is the paid version of LinkedIn that really gives you an opportunity to find other freelance writers and find potential clients, whether it be editors or other business owners that you might want to write for 
and lengthen premium, it really kind of gives you a leg up because it gives you an opportunity to connect with people who maybe are not in your network. So I think, I think initially when LinkedIn came out, it was really heavy on not allowing people to just flat out message someone who's not in their network. But with LinkedIn Premium, you can actually do that. They will give you um, so many credits, for example, every month with, that you can use to connect, to send a message, a direct message to someone who's not in your network. And if you are trying to connect with someone else who's also a LinkedIn Premium member, those credits that you get every month don't go against you, meaning you don't have to use them. So it, it really is for, LinkedIn Premium really is um, a good tool for people who are open to connect. You know, sometimes people will have on their profile picture, um, open to network or open to work. And people like me, I just don't, I choose not to do that, but I use the LinkedIn premium feature because I want people to have access to me and for me to potentially be able to have access to other people through direct message if I, you know, want to connect with them, whether it's for a project or just to get to know them. Another thing that you can do to find clients on LinkedIn is to update your about me. So I went to a conference um, that really kind of tapped into this. One of the speakers was talking a lot. They gave an entire presentation on how to leverage LinkedIn and they really spent a ton of time on the importance of updating your about me. Your about me section is about 2000 characters and it's the perfect space under your headline for you to just talk about you. Why are you here? Why are you on this page? Or why are you on this platform? What do you do? What do you want to promote? And it, it's not a, a selling place, but it really is a place for you to give people even just a glimpse of who you are and how you want to come across on your page. I don't think I've used up all 2000 characters. You don't have to, by the way. I don't think that that's absolutely necessary. That can feel like a little miniature booklet. <laughs> 2000 characters. I mean, it really, it's just a couple of paragraphs, but still it can feel like a lot. So don't feel as though you have to fill up that about me, but definitely take the time to spruce it up, you know, put at the top of it exactly who you are, the type of content that you intend to write, maybe where you've written, why you've gotten into content writing. And then if you still have room left over and you don't have anything else that you want to talk about, leave it. It's fine. Another thing that I recommend for finding clients is to post regularly on your LinkedIn page. So um, you can post articles if you want to publish there. You can post, you know, posts about experiences that you've had as a freelance writer. Maybe you have questions. I know LinkedIn has a poll option that a lot of people love, love, love to use. Um, make sure that you're posting regularly because what happens is that as you continue to post, people are going to comment. And the more you comment, the more, or the more comments you get, the more posting you do, more likely you'll get what are called impressions and you'll start to get stats on your posts and how many people it's reached in and out of your network. And the higher those numbers go, the more likely you are to be increasing your visibility on the website. And the more you increase your, increase your visibility, the more likely it is you are going to run into your first, second, or 10th client on LinkedIn. Um, you can join groups on LinkedIn. Uh, so there are freelance writing groups, but you can also be, you know, you can also think about other places or other groups to join. It doesn't always have to be a, a, a writing group. Maybe you join one of your as alumni association groups and that's a good place for you to connect and really kind of talk when the time is right about 
your freelance writing or an article that you just wrote that's related to a topic that's really important to that alumni association. Groups are an awesome place for you to network and for people to see your writing skill and expertise. Uh, check your inbox. So this, <laughs> this is something I don't do enough of. Um, people, the more and more you post, the more likely you're going to find people who want to connect with you. They are going to see that someone else in their network commented on something that you posted, or maybe your post for some reason comes up because someone else in their network clicked on it. This is an awesome time uh, for you to freely get visibility by choosing to connect with someone who may or may not be an ally for you down the road, whether it's getting your first paid client or introducing you to another area in freelance writing that you didn't know about that you're really interested in. And then finally, respond to LinkedIn's notifications when they come um, about collaborating on articles. So this happened to me over the last year, I think. The more and more I post about freelance writing, the more and more I post about my day job as a researcher or nurse scientist, LinkedIn sees that and they will start to see, to send you opportunities to collaborate on different topics. And a lot of people um, talk a lot about having these uh, badges that can show up on their um, LinkedIn profile as a top voice in something, a top voice in nursing, a top voice in content creation, uh, a top voice in blogging, uh, a top voice in YouTube health. These are all things that will significantly promote your brand visibility and will send clients coming to you with potential opportunities to write, to be an editor, to be a reviewer, to um, uh, be an affiliate with them. So there are a ton of ways or a ton of benefits, I should say, to answering the call to collaborating on some of those articles. That's all I got. That is all of the tips and tricks I have for how to find clients via LinkedIn. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to this channel.